What's up, everybody? Watch Raider here, man. Just gonna make a quick little vid, man, draft recap. And uh, I think we did a really good job in the draft, man. Um, we passed on Foster. But it took me a couple of days to actually sit down and really think about the reasons why we passed on Ruben Foster. And uh, all the Raiders, Raider, Raider fans, you know, uh, we pretty much like the picks, but you know, it's a few that's, you know, mad about not picking the middle linebacker early, but I think that Reggie knew what he was doing, man. And I mean, at that point, you know, before we picked Connolly, I was like, go Foster just because of his talent. But I had to catch myself, bro. And I had to look back at the things that Foster has done since the combine. When he went to the combine, bro, he was talking trash to the hospital workers, bro. Acting a fool at the combine. Like, bro, you ain't even on yet. Why you acting a fool at the hospital? And doing other stuff. Talk about he hung up on the Saints. You hung up on a football team, bro? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You hung up on the Saints, bro, but they could have picked you. They could have picked you, bro, for their defense. They needed you. That's why they called you. So, hey, man, we passed on Ruben Foster, but so what? Because we don't need dudes like Ruben Foster acting silly and immature on the Raiders, bro. We don't need that no more. And Reggie Smart for not picking him. And I'm glad he didn't pick him. And I'm glad he picked Connolly. Because you know what he did? He picked up. Honest man and the innocent man over the guilty man. So I'm good. I'm good with that. I'm good with that pick, bro. And, you know, y'all can come talk trash to my page about that or whatever. But look, we did pick Foster, bro, because he immature and he a knucklehead. The boy got talent. The only reason why I thought we should have picked him was because I felt like him coming to the locker room, he would have a lot of veteran leadership around him and probably would have helped him mature. But that first impression that he made at the combine killed the Raiders off, bro. I'm telling you, that's what it, that's what it was. It killed them off. Reggie, Jack, everybody was turned off by that, bro. They didn't care how good he was. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, it don't matter, bro. You still got to be... On your best behavior, bro. You know what I'm saying? You still got to represent your family. Represent the team. Represent the community in a good way. And we the Raiders, bro. We known for knuckleheads. So I like that Reggie is trying to build a team of good guys. You know? So we passed on Foster, period. But we filled the positions of need that we needed to fill other than linebacker, bro. And look at it like this. Reggie didn't go for the middle linebacker because he has faith in the linebackers we already have on the squad. And he going to let them compete in camp. Now, hopefully we can side back Perry Riley. Hopefully. And we can just let everybody compete, bro. So, I'm not worried about the linebacker spot right now, man. That's going to work itself out. Because also, another point that people missing is this draft was based on Pagano. What Pagano wants to do with this defense. So, Reggie drafted players that can fit in a system that Pagano is going to run. So, I like all the picks, man. So, I'm going to go through all the picks. And I'm going to get my grade at the end, bro. So, first pick we already know, Connolly. Excellent pick, 6 feet, 195. Can play in the slot. Can play on the outside. Is a ball hawk, bro. He takes he takes chances, but hey, sometimes you got to take a few chances. So, I like the Connolly pick, man, a lot. I really like that pick. I think he's going to be a good defensive back for us, man. And uh, it just puts Reggie... It puts Reggie Nelson on notice after this draft, and it puts Sha Smith on notice. Because Connolly comes in, and he's filling in for DJ Hayden right off the bat. 
he's in the rotation. So if Sha Smith can't get his stuff together, then Obi and Connolly bro is gonna start taking over. And I'm liking that because Obi can play both spots. So Sha Smith, better get on your game, boy. You better get on your game. So yeah, I just mentioned the second pick. Obi, excellent pick. Excellent steal. Steal of the draft, bro. Steal. I didn't think we was going to get Obi. I thought he was going to be gone. But I think a lot of teams didn't really know who they was going to get. But Reggie looked at Obi, bro, and said, man, that is a raw athletic talent. And we can move him around. So that second pick was the steal for me, bro. That was the steal. Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. So, hey, man. I'm good with that pick. I love that pick. Because Kevin King was already gone. He was gone. Obi was the second rated corner on my board. Connolly was at the top of the list before all that bullshit drama happened. So, I wasn't looking at us even getting Connolly. I thought he was going to be gone. Because he played with Lattimore and Hooker. You know what I'm saying? And and both of them got drafted. So, hey, man, that second OB pick was great, man. The first two picks was money. Now, we're going to move on to Eddie V. Hey, man, I like the pick with Eddie V because he's going to come in with energy in that middle. And he's going to help Khalil Mack and Bruce Irvin. So, hey, he got a chance to start week one. If he come into camp and do what he need to do, he got a chance to start week one. So I like the Eddie V pick, 6'6", 305, defensive tackle, bro. I mean, hey, we had to go defensive tackle right there for sure. So I like the Eddie V pick a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? I really do. Now we go to the fourth round. We got David Sharp tackle, 6'6", 343. Now I wanted them to take Zach Banner, but for some reason they passed on Zach Banner and then take him and let him get took. But they picked up Sharp, which similar size to Banner and a little bit more, a little bit less weight. He's 34366. Banner was like 68, 350. So I like that. He's a little bit lighter. He played at Florida, bro, at a good school. He was a decent lineman. He played two, at least two years in college, man. He was a starter for at least two years. So uh, I think he's going to be a good plug-in uh, lineman on either side. So we good with that. We had to address that. Now we go to the fifth round. We got Markel Lee from Wake Forest. Now everybody's like, oh, my God, who's Markel Lee, man? What is he going to do? Can he play middle linebacker? I don't know. But you know what? Like I just said. He was picked to fit in Pagano's defense, bro. And he likes to blitz the quarterback. So, hey, man, I like that. I like the Markel Lee pick, man. He looked like he want to come in and play ball. He ain't talking no smack, none of that. He just trying to come in and play ball. So, I like that pick, Markel Lee, man. I watched a little tape on him. I made a video about him. And uh, I like the pick, man, because at that point, it wasn't any more starting-type linebackers left. But we filled all the positions of need that we needed to fill by that fifth round. We, we filled those positions. So Markel Lee, 6'3", 240, good size. He got speed, and he can tackle. So, hey, man, look. I like the lead pick. And like I said, Reggie believes in the rest of the backers we got on the squad. So, hey, he didn't try to reach for nobody. So, I like that, man. I like that. Uh, then we go to the seventh round. We gave up our sixth round pick for extra two extra seventh round picks, which was a good decision. And I will tell you why. Because we went out and got another safety slash cornerback, nickel, maybe nickel cornerback, nickel safety, Luwani. Shalom Luwani from Washington State, man. Dude got speed. He going to hit you. He got to work on his ball skills. And he got to work on his tackling. But I like his energy on the field. And I like the way he moves around. So I like that Luani pick. He's going to probably start out on special teams just like Markel Lee. And work your way up. I mean, Kowser and Corey James and all of them started out on special teams. 
and they was able to get get some run. So hey, look, man, Reggie's like, look, bro, if you want to make this squad, you got to start out on special teams. I like that. I like that. That's gonna show their work ethic. So uh, the next pick after that, we got us another tackle, six eight two ninety five, just as tall as Banner, but lighter. From Alabama State. Shout out to Alabama State and the swag. I work at PVAMU, man. They play Alabama State. So I've seen where play. I've seen him play. So uh, that was another good pickup on the line. So we got us two linemen. We got us two safety slash cornerbacks. We got us a solid cornerback. And we got us a defensive tackle. So we, we good. We good at this point. So then with the with the next pick, the next seventh pick we get, next to the last pick, we go and get Elijah Hood. Still pick in the seventh round. Still. Hey, got size 5'11, 232. Protects the ball. Power running back. Got got some outside speed. Runs between the tackles. Hey man, Taiwan Jones, gone. Hey man, he gonna be the fourth running back. We might stash him away on the practice squad. That's cool. That's cool. But now we got two power backs and two speed backs. So I'm good with Elijah Hood. Good in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Good pick, bro. Excellent pick. Excellent pick at running back right there. Just what we needed. Just what we needed. So then I want to go to the final pick. Trey Von Hester, defensive tackle, 6'2", 300. Hey, man. I like it. We added depth to the DT. And, and, and then him and, and, uh, and uh, what's my boy's name? Uh, Danico Archer. So, hey, look, man. Camp going to be fun, y'all. And we're going to have some undrafted. I need to go look up and see what, what that's all about. Because I've been busy, man. This whole draft day just tired of brother out. But, look, the draft was excellent. I'm going to give the Raiders an A-. minus Because we wasn't able to get that starting linebacker earlier in the draft. That's the only reason why I'm giving them an A-, minus, bro. Because other than that, man, out of this whole draft, bro, we got at least three to four players that's gonna get time on the field man most likely this year Connolly, obi i think sharp is gonna get some playing time i think eddie v is gonna get some playing time and i think elijah hood if he shows up in camp bro he might make the roster he might make the roster so i'm happy about the draft i mean i'm just i'm just proud that reggie just stood his ground bro and pick the players that he thought was going to help us in the best way. And not jumping on Reuben Foster. You know what I'm saying? He had reasons for not picking him. The teams before the Raiders had reasons not picking him. Why didn't the Phoenix Cardinals pick Foster? Why didn't the Bengals pick Foster? You know what I'm saying? Why didn't the Ravens pick Foster? It's a lot of teams, bro. So you can't just blame the Raiders. It's a reason why they didn't pick that dude. And I think it's because he immature. And he going to cause issues in the locker room, bro. He might turn out to be another Rolando McClain. And we don't need that. So we're going to let the 49ers have that. They can have that. Because they had a pretty good draft. And I give them that. They building their defense. 49ers. Hey. Y'all getting y'all stuff together. But we need to concentrate on what we need to concentrate on. And that's getting to the Super Bowl. It, the 49ers is a long way away from the Super Bowl. So they can take Foster and deal with him. But we don't have time to be dealing with none of that. So I'm feeling good about the Raiders draft, bro. I'm cool with it, man. I like all the players we picked up. I think all of them, all of them are going to help us. You know, they're going to help us, man. And they're going to add depth to the team. And uh, we in good shape. You know, we really in good shape, man. You know, like I say, I give him an A- minus on this draft, bro. Because I think Eddie V, man, and Elijah Hood 
is the dark horses, bro, to really make this team. You know what I'm saying? To really make this team. So, I'm feeling good about that. All positions in need, man. All positions in need, man. So, shout out to Reggie McKenzie, the whole Raider Nation, man. My family. Everybody much love to y'all, man. Keep praying for my fam. You know, keep praying for my little sis, man. And uh, I'm going to be back on here soon. But I had to just come on and touch bases with everybody. And uh, also go check me out on Town Business, man, with two Zs. Town Business with two Zs at Facebook, man. We're doing big things over there. Uh, we just did the draft party this weekend, man. Everything went well. Shout out to Carlos Gomez. Um, we also did the Fans Against Domestic Violence rally. Uh, it was it was a success, man. You know, we went live from out there. And, uh, you know, we just showed that the Raider Nation, man, we trying to stick together right now. So, much love to the whole crew. Much love to everybody, all my loved ones on YouTube. Like I say, y'all switch over to Facebook, man. Go check us out over there, bro, because we doing big things. And uh, Raider Nation for life, man. And I'm out.